Warning. This game contains flashing lights or patterns which may trigger epileptic seizures among a small percentage of people, even those with no prior history of epilepsy or seizures. This game carries many flashing lights. You have been warned. So we'll get back to some more Mega Man 2, where last time, we took care of Crash Man, who is, again, annoying as per usual with Crash Man, and Heat Man, who is a pushover as per usual. And this time, we're going after Flash Man. I am a minor man, do not, please do not flash me, bro. So this stage I have always loved as a kid. But yeah, there's ice physics for some reason. I guess this is ice. In which case, why does it glow? I don't get it either, but yeah. This is one of the few stages where there's a bunch of alternative paths you can take. And yeah, you can already see the problem with one of the stages here. It is because of the ice physics, you get knocked back very quickly. So I put on Crash Bomber, blow this up. Thankfully, you can't hurt yourself in Crash Bomber. Hi. I can get hurt by you, though. Screw you. Uh, okay, where do you go over here? There we go. Hey, got some health, I'll take it. And yeah, one up is a one up up there, but I can't really. Actually, uh, maybe I can get that. We haven't seen what one does yet, which is. Is it the one I'm thinking of? Yes, it is. Alright. Yes, there we go. Yes, cheese to victory. Cheese for the one up. Ooh, there we go. We will gladly take that. Because 1-ups are kind of rare in this game, because while enemies can drop it, it, it's unlikely to for some reason in this game. I guess because of Mega Man 1, but blow these up. You can see how much energy that costs Crash Bomber too. Like, that is ridiculous. Hop down here. Hopefully this is the one I want to hop down. Uh, yes it is, because if we go to this direction, we can get some pretty good rewards of not having to fight any of the enemies. Uh, there's that. Is that something I want? No. Uh, oh, oh god, hi. I can't deal with you with metal, can I? Okay, I don't even know how that's... Man, this is cheap. Just go down here. Jesus. Yeah, so we can skip all these guys. Which is great. And we have a really nice cubby hole to fight this guy. I was not trying to do that. I am actually rewinding for that, because that was bull. Uh, really? That was protected back here. That, man, I hate jumping in this area because you'll just get hit. Ugh, oh my god, it's so annoying. And we could skip the rest of the stage by just walking across this uh, top section here. Just make sure to jump when you need to jump and you'll be fine. Just careful of ice physics because ice physics sucks. And hey, E-Tank, we desperately need those. We don't have a lot of those. And Crash Bomber. Eventually, there we go. And we could just go and skip that guy. <laughs> Screw that guy. And we're here in record time. Less than... Jesus, less than five minutes. Oh, God. So, as per usual with most of the bosses in this game, this guy is weak to Metal Blade. Still find that weird, but whatever. Uh, ow. Uh, okay, I was not aiming that direction. All this guy likes to do is randomly shoot and just crash into you. Yeah, he kind of works a lot similarly to Crash Man for some reason. I don't get it either. Mostly a pushover, though. He's not that bad. Get equipped with Time Stopper, which is only used for, like, one boss, but whatever. It's fine. And a message from Dr. Light. Did he make his appearance in this game? I, I don't remember if he was in the first game. Eh, whatever. Item 3 completed! Get your weapons ready. Why do you say that when they're not actually weapons? Like seriously, <laughs> none of the item uses are even weapons that you could use to kill enemies with. They're all just support items, but whatever. Well, we only got one man left, and that's Quick Man. So this stage is actually pretty cool. I like this stage a lot. Uh, I want that one up, I'm greedy. Uh, go to one. Actually, I could show three. Three is kind of a combination of the rocket and the, well, weird balloon thing. It's a little robot that lets you go up the sides of walls and such. It's pretty cool. I like it. So the theme with Quick Man stage is, yeah, you kinda wanna go through these areas pretty quickly. 
because uh, you'll have some stuff come up that is very dangerous, such as this. Random lasers and hi, Roomba bot. Screw you, Roomba bot. Uh, I'm gonna go down here just to see what's down here. I mean, I'll gladly take the skip. Oh, okay, no, no, no. I want those items. I want those items. This. I don't care if I actually have to do the stage. I will gladly go for those items. Yeah, the thing you want to be careful with here, those lasers are a one-shot kill, so... <laughs> be what the... Okay, I don't know why it's doing this. I was just swapping to another thing. Does that happen in the stage? Wow, it does. Okay, that's very strange. Uh, this is a game from the 80s, after all. It has to be weird at some point. And you can already see another thing with this. These torch bots light up the area, and when you kill them, they darken the area, and... To which I say, it's really not a big deal, especially since there's no pits. They're not that much of a jerk to put a bottomless pit on you, but... Eh, whatever. And, uh oh uh oh oh god. How did I not get hit there? So yeah, don't touch the lasers. They will fry you, so... And that is not a worth... <laughs> that, that energy thing is not worth it. Run! Dear God. So scuffed. I do not care about those two items. I'd rather live. <laughs> I don't like running away from stuff, man. It creeps me out. Well, not creeps me out, but it freaks me out. There we go. And you got another one of these stupid bots that I hate oh so much. There, uh, come on. Again, I hate those enemies. <laughs> hey, he gave some health backs. So I'll take it. And, uh, oh God. Hi, but oh great, now there's two of you because you moved backwards. Alright, fine, I'm just moving ahead, screw you. <laughs> now we made it to Wiley, or er, Wiley, why did I say Wiley? Made it to the boss, which, dear god, again, in record time, it's only been like five minutes. And we have Flashman! Er, Flashman, Quickman! I don't know why I said Flashman. How do you stop the fastness? By, uh, oh god, what is it? What is, what word is it under? I think it's F, yeah. By stopping him in time, yes. He's weak to time stopper, but only up to half of his health. Which is very strange. The rest of it, you actually have to fight, so. Which, I kind of prefer that, actually. Like, you can make them weak to a certain buster ability, but they should still have enough health to where you still have to fight them with a mega buster at the end. Because otherwise, they're just a pushover. Q is that Q? I think that's a Q. Where's the squiggly line that's supposed to come out of the bottom right? And eh, whatever. Q, get it quicks with Boomerang. Yeah. Boomerang. Hi, Dr. Wily. You and your fabulous eyebrows. This game is very weird. And we have the most classic Wily dungeon that everybody knows and loves. It's the Wily Castle. What do you expect? He really likes bones, for some reason. And we get started on stage one. I just want to be quiet for that because it is easily the most well-known track of all in Mega Man. Like, I mean, when somebody says, name me a song from Mega Man, it's this. Like, this song is very, very classic, and it's very epic, too. I love it a lot. So, uh, oh, I can't damage these. It's just in a really awful... Screw these stupid little weird worm things. I don't even know what they are. I hate them. They deserve to die in hell. <laughs> Screw you. Uh, I don't even know why I used one for that. I should be using three, but whatever. So, the thing with the Wily stages is that you want to be very conservative of all of your energies. That's probably why they have these guys here, so you can fully restock them. What did not mean to do that. I am actually rewinding for that, because I did not want to do that. I was trying to hit next, and I didn't know where my cursor was. So yeah, you want to kind of be conservative with all of your energy usages. Because... You'll get screwed over by the game later because they do not refill your energy between these uh, Wily stages, so just be careful of that. And again, I want this, so I'm going to kill all these dudes. Just farm this. Wow, that's very easy to farm, actually. Wow. Alright. 
get some energy back. Yeah, beautiful. Let's get that. And I think I could just kill you with metal. Yeah, that's how you're supposed to do it. Okay. Uh, I kind of want one of these, but it's not going to let me. Oh, but it is. Stutter stepping is the win. So, yeah. Uh, can I... Let me see if I can... No, I'm, I'm not going to be able to jump around that, are I? Okay. Use, uh, use one, I guess, and try to jump up there that way. Yoink. <laughs> so, yeah. I'm going to keep the stage in because, one, it's a very well-known stage, but also... You know, these levels are short as it is, so I might as well have one more stage. Okay, really? Man, you guys are freaking tanky. Right, just die. God. <sighs> Weirdly tanky, even though it's on Japanese easy mode. Yeah, I don't get it either. Going up here. Oh, great, we got another one of you guys. I Again, I do not like these enemies, and... I mean, they're very well known. They're from the first game, too. Ow. Okay, fine. These are dropping... God, I keep doing that! Because I keep, uh thinking that I have to go one more ahead when I don't. Uh, stupid menus are stupid. Thank God for rewind. So anyway, uh, screw you, Roomba Bot. I, mm, I am just getting angry at all of the inanimate objects today, aren't I? Now, this room. Oh my God, this room confused the crap out of me as a kid. What you're supposed to do is not that. What you're Come on, let me stay on the ledge. You're supposed to just stagger one all the way over and then jump like that. Super weird, and I don't like it. Uh, let me go back to Mega Buster so I don't fall here. Because these guys are annoying. Especially since they keep respawning. And just keep climbing on up. And I think we've reached the end. Yes, we have. Okay. Be careful of this room if you have uh, susceptibility to flashing lights. Because holy crap, this place is really bad for it. For now, just platform. Because it's an infinite abyss. With a dragon, dear god! Uh, I need to slow down a little bit so I don't go ahead of the platforms that don't exist yet. And once you reach this place, you have this dragon, which uh, dies very easily, by the way, if you don't get knocked off, that is. Oh, god. Yeah, I need to go back here and then jump down. Ugh. Oh, uh. Yeah. Personally, I use Mega Buster. Oh my god, the flashing lights. Holy Jesus. <laughs> Just... I may actually lower the brightness on that, because that is horrible. You can use Mega Buster, or you can use the boomerangs. I wanted to reserve the boomerangs for something later. This leads on Uber to stage two. With the same theme, but I'm going to leave that here. Uh, ooh, hey, energy. I will gladly take that. I only need it for one. Perfect. All right. So... Next time on Mega Man 2, we'll be continuing to progress through Wily's Castle, which is very nice indeed. I will see you guys in the next one. Take care.